I'm Janae Hill and welcome to Uplift TV. Just as Christ used parables and sermons to transform lives, Uplift TV provides you with Christian movies and ministries to inspire you and your family. And throughout history, art has also been used to bring Bible stories to life. Over the next half hour, we're going to share some of the amazing art of Thomas Kincaid and give you a unique opportunity to partner with us to create more inspirational programs. I'm joined today by Dr. Patrick Kincaid, brother of the late Thomas Kincaid. Pat, thank you so much for joining us. We're so glad you're here. Janae, I'm so excited to be here. I really am. I love the idea of sharing the, the gospel and the, the word of God through stories and parables. Tom was a storyteller in visuals, and it's such a natural fit to be here on Uplift TV sharing stories about how we can come closer to God. Pat, your brother, Thomas Kincaid, he was known to be the painter of light. Tell me a little bit more about that. Well, uh, there's a couple reasons for that. Uh, my brother painted in a luminous style. And luminism is a technique that allows the painter, through certain manipulations of oil, through layering of oil out from a canvas, from juxtaposing certain colors together, to create a magic in the canvas. When you lower ambient light, when you lower the lights in a room on a luminous piece, the lights inside the canvas, inside the painting, seem to come on. It has nothing to do with any sort of gimmick. It's not fluorescent paint. It's simple mastery in oil. It's a very, very exciting technique. When uh, people share this at home, when they hang it on the wall and they get a nice spotlight put on a given piece and they lower those lights to create that effect, anybody who sees the piece will immediately be dumbfounded and they'll ask you to do it again. It's part of the fun of owning a Kincaid. You can sort of set the mood of the canvas to what your mood is simply by moving the light. Another reason that Tom was known as a painter of light, and probably more important, the luminism is fun, but Tom truly wanted to touch people's lives through his art. He wanted the light of God to pour through his canvases and transform souls. And we have lots and lots of letters about people who have been led to God through Tom's paintings. An absolutely wonderful experience th that uh, uh, Tom had in that reality. He used to say when he was a, uh, a young boy, he felt moved towards the end of being a painter. It wasn't that he just started picking up brushes and pencils and eventually evolved into it. From the very beginning, he viewed himself as a painter. And later on, when he became a publishing artist, he often claimed that he felt as if he was simply a vessel being filled and being used by a higher power to create these wonderful images that transform lives. And I believe that that's the case. I honestly do. I believe that there is a higher power that moves through Tom work, that pours the light out through the canvas to touch the human heart. Well, speaking of touching the human heart, this is a beautiful painting, and I believe the title of it is Remember Me. It absolutely is. It's, it's, it's a fun piece uh, for a, a, a very specific reason. Tom actually used to do live paintings. He would go in front of crowds, and they would get the opportunity to see him work. This is an example of one of his live paintings. He painted this in front of a church congregation. During Easter Sunday, while the sermon was going on, Tom stood up uh, next to the pulpit, and while the preacher was preaching, Tom was painting painting his heart out and he created this piece. So it was absolutely a wonderful experience. The congregation got to experience Tom's work in a very intimate level in that way. So it's fun in that regard. It truly is. But it's a very, very profound piece in terms of the spiritual message. You look at it, you obviously recognize it as Calvary. You have the, the, the wonderful crosses on the, uh, the hill, basically looking towards eternity. You have the crosses empty, so you know that the transition has occurred, that Christ has indeed given himself so that we all may experience heaven. It's a wonderful message, it's a beautiful piece, and it's one of these paintings that when added to a Kincaid collection really becomes transformative in the household. This sort of piece as a point of reflection is so important. It's not only going to affirm what your beliefs are, that you're a Christian, that you've accepted Christ as your Savior, 
but also anybody who comes in contact with this is going to be moved. And you're just going to open the conversation about what your personal faith is. And I just think that's wonderful as a point of testimony, as an opportunity to profess your belief to people who come to visit your house. These sorts of works open up that opportunity again and again and again. It will not only transform your life in terms of affirmation, but the people around you will also benefit from the light coming through it. Well, and transformation is also what we are doing here at Uplift TV. And today, through your contributions, you can actually get one of these beautiful paintings in exchange for your contribution. And remember me being one of mm. two options that you're going to have. Now, you mentioned that he always liked to paint and use a lot of metaphors. But this painting, I noticed, obviously, like a, a trail, a specific trail up to that center cross. Any thoughts around that or the, the, the center of cross that. was Christ of course and the, that path going up the hill was the path to redemption so Tom painted very specifically and for those sorts of reasons when you learn about those sorts of things he's basically telling the story of Christ is telling the story of salvation in every stroke of the brush it truly is when Tom painted he viewed his job as an artist to communicate as far and wide as possible about as many things as possible. He painted themes of adventure and romance and love and family and hearth and home and patriotism and community, those sorts of things that bring meaning to the human condition. But the most important thing to Tom, the most important thing of all, was the idea of salvation. And this piece absolutely speaks to that bedrock belief in terms of his experience as an individual and what he wanted to share as an artist. And he shared so much as an artist and made an <clears throat> impact on so many people's lives. Do you have one specific story that you could share about how someone was impacted? Oh, there, there, there are so many wonderful stories. I, 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 I'll tell you a very, very charming story to me. Tom actually shared a, a piece called Prayer for the Millennium. And he shared it with a relatively special man who was Pope John Paul. And Tom took the original to have a meeting with the Pope. He put it in front of him. And the, the Pope was quiet for a while. And then he reached out and he touched the piece. And Tom said he saw a light absolutely explode in his eyes. And just the, the sharing of that sort of moment with an, another person who understands belief and recognizes the light through the canvas was absolutely magical to Tom in one of those moments that actually is caught in film. And you can enjoy it to see it again and again. Well, and Thomas Kincaid is known for capturing light in all of his paintings, but specifically as I'm looking at this Remember Me painting, you see the light coming in from mm -hmm. behind the clouds. You just see richness of a very beautiful moment. Absolutely. It's, it's that dimensionality that we talk about. Luminism not only ca captures light, it only captures that magic glow that comes about when you lower the room lights, but it captures dimensionality. When you hang this on the wall and you lower the lights, you're going to see the magic in terms of dimension. It's almost as if you can reach into the painting. It's almost like a, a, a window into another world, the world of Tom and his magic brush. And you could experience some of the magic of Thomas Kincaid's brush. When you donate to Uplift TV, you will receive Remember Me, this painting, in appreciation for your support. When we come back, we're going to hear more behind the scenes and stories from Pat Kincaid, brother of the late Thomas Kincaid. So stay with us. We'll be right back. For your support of Uplift TV Foundation, we want to offer you a choice of one of the two Thomas Kincaid authorized reproduction paintings featured as a gift to you for your donation. Your generous support will allow Uplift TV to create and acquire more inspirational movies and programs that will change hearts and impact lives. Remember Me tells the story of a thief hanging on a cross at Calvary who asked Jesus, Remember Me when you come into your kingdom. Eternal Springtime was the last painting of Thomas Kincaid, found on his easel after he passed away. It features Thomas's Bible on the park bench to serve as a reminder to read the Word of God. Each painting comes in four different formats and donation amounts. The studio print is 8 by 10 inches, printed on heavyweight archival paper that will easily accommodate a store-bought frame. You will receive this quality studio print for your donation of $25. The gallery wrap print is crafted with premium canvas and hand wrapped around a hardwood stretcher bar. It is available for your donation of $125. The textured print features a hand applied coating designed to bring out appearance of brush strokes. 
A very attractive frame comes with this painting. You will receive this authorized reproduction for your donation of $200. The limited edition reproduction comes with a certificate of authenticity. This beautiful version features vibrant colors, rich textures, and is highlighted by hand using fine acrylic paints by skilled artisans. This elegant framed limited edition reproduction is your gift for a donation of $1,000. For your convenience, you can donate online at upliftpaintings.com. This secure website is the easiest way to view the two painting choices and review the four painting formats. You can also call our toll-free number and make your donation by calling 844-7-UPLIFT. That's 844-787-5438. Donate today at upliftpaintings.com or call 844-7-UPLIFT. Welcome back. As part of Uplift TV, the Uplift TV Foundation was formed to help spread the gospel through the creation of Christian movies, documentaries, and TV series. Uplift TV has joined with the Thomas Kincaid Company to offer our viewers a unique way to help support Uplift TV in creating Christian programming that will impact people's lives. I'm joined once again with Pat Kincaid. <laughs> Pat, welcome back. I am so happy to be here. I can't explain. Well, I can't. I mean, I'm just so excited, too, because we have Eternal Springtime. What a gorgeous painting. It really is, and it's an absolutely important piece in terms of my brother's history as an artist. It truly is. I mean, obviously, it has all those wonderful features that people love about my brother's work. It has that luminous effect that we talk about. It has that wonderful dimensionality that we talk about. The, the thing in terms of presentation is beautiful, but for a couple of reasons, this is a very, very special piece, and I believe it is an essential to any Kincaid collector. This painting is actually of Ivy Gate Garden. Yeah. Tom's studio is Ivy Gate. It's where he painted for many, many years happily. He also loved to garden. He would get out around the uh, flower beds and, and around the trees and in, around Ivy Gate and spend time absolutely planting his own uh, gardens and enjoying the, the bounty that was provided because of the wonderful climate that was provided by God in terms of Ivy Gate. So it, it's, a, it's a wonderful expression of Tom's love of nature. I also love it because this bench actually exists. And if you look at the bench, you're going to see on that bench a little Bible. That's actually Tom's Bible. Every day Tom would come out to this part of Ivy Gate Gardens, sit on his little bench, and he would read in the Good Word. It was his way to reflect, to reconnect, to be affirmed in terms of what he was doing. It's simply a, a wonderful, wonderful expression of Tom's love of nature, Tom's love of God, and all things that he was creating in terms of his artistry. He actually called that bench a little bit of heaven, and I love that when I think of it especially because this was the last piece that Tom painted before he died. Um, my brother passed several years ago, and people understand that, but ultimately, when we went into Ivy Gate to see what uh, remained of the work that he was doing, this piece was sitting on his easel, completed mm -hmm. and ready as if his last work for the people that loved him so was prepared so we would be comforted by the fact that he was passed on to what he believed to be a little bit of heaven. It still exists as we found it in his studio to this day. And every time I see it, I think of Tom passing and going on to heaven. So for me, for the family, for anybody who truly loved Tom's work, this piece is, I think, the ultimate expression of his experience as an artist and his experience as a Christian merging together. It truly is a beautiful, beautiful expression of God's love and Tom's love of God. And Pat, I think I probably share the sentiments of our viewers that we are very sorry for your loss. And I think the true amazement is how much his legacy really does live on through his work. What message do you think this painting sends? I, I, it sends it, the idea that Tom believed adamantly that we all have the opportunity to find God, to experience his love in this world so that we can pass to the better world that God promises. The eternity that's out there for each and every one of us can be found. I think that Tom found is. This was his expression of that belief. This is his expression of that experience for him and a very, very 
base level, this was what Tom believed heaven to be. The Bible, God, and beauty around him. Everybody, everybody has that opportunity to experience God in that personal way, to find their heaven through the light of Christ. My brother's work as a painter of light tried to direct people in that manner to find the light. And everything that he did across his many, many years as an artist was directed towards that simple end, bringing people to God. And you mentioned that this was the last painting that was on his easel completed. And so truly, this has the opportunity for being a very unique limited edition work. Mm -hmm. And I know that for our viewers, when you contribute to Uplift TV, you have several formats that are possible to receive this beautiful painting, but one of those is the limited edition. Yeah, and, and, I'm, and I'm so happy to say this. Uplift TV has made it possible for anybody, anybody to bring Tom's work into their home. He, they are doing it by obviously creating these wonderful shows, but beyond that, they're creating opportunities so that at any level, people can enter the world of Thomas Kincaid. This is a limited edition piece. This is the most rarefied level of Tom's expression of art. On the back of this piece is a certificate, a certificate of authenticity. And that basically is a legal contract between the Thomas Kincaid Company and the collector. That certificate specifies specifically how many of these can be created. And once they're gone, once the collector base has had opportunity to have them into the home, we can never create them again. There are millions and millions and millions of Kincaid collectors out there, but there's very few of these, a handful, a few hundred. So in that large body of collectors, you're going to be a very special collector if you can get this piece and this piece particularly. So it's a wonderful opportunity. Other features of limited edition, there's actually oil on the canvas. So it's a, an original in effect. Each of these limited edition has unique oil patterns on it, so you're getting something unique. It has a wonderful frame that comes with mm -hmm. it. And then there's the signature here, the authorized signature, so you have a little bit of Tom in relation to the, the piece as a whole. But if limited edition is not something that you're interested in, we have other editions that you can bring this piece into your home. I love this particular format. This is called a textured print. It has a wonderful frame. It has a texturing on the, the paper, such that it looks as if it's an original. You look at it very, very closely. I've seen the original, and I've seen these together, and you can't tell the difference. It almost it seems like you're looking at individual brush strokes on these particular pieces. So I love that in terms of presentation. It gives an illusion of absolute originality. Beautiful, striking, and again, this piece comes completely framed. Then we have what are called canvas wraps. I love canvas wraps very, very elegant way to uh, uh, present the art. It's a full piece. It'll easily handle the wall. What's neat about the canvas wrap, if you look at them from the back, they have an internal frame. You don't need to put a frame around the outside of it. It's completely re ready to hang. As soon as you get that box home, as soon as you get the, 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 the arrival from Uplift TV, you can take this piece immediately out and hang it on the wall. You don't need to buy a frame for it. It's a very lovely presentation. And it's also a size that easily fits into mantles or into bookshelves and what have you, so it's neat in that regard. And then we have a little gift print. This is available, it's, it's eternal springtime, it's all the beauty that Tom intended for people to experience when they look at this piece, but it's, it's a small print that easily fits into a standard size frame. So there's no difficulty in getting this framed up and creating a nice little accent piece that allows you to remember Tom, his life, and his impact on you as a, a lover of art. So across these four versions of eternal springtime, everybody, everybody has the opportunity to bring Tom into the household. And I think in addition to bringing Tom into the household, you really are bringing in eternal springtime through this gorgeous Absolutely. painting. I mean, I think it could be spring 365 days a year with this lovely painting. It is, it is beautiful. And ultimately, that expression to Tom was about light. The light of the painting, certainly, but really the light of God and Christ pouring through Tom's brush onto canvas, back off the canvas into your heart. Get to know Tom's work, and you can't help but experience Christ in its execution. What a great way to bring some of the Thomas Kincaid collection into your home. Here's more information on Eternal Springtime and how you can support Uplift TV and the Uplift TV Foundation. For your support of Uplift TV Foundation, we want to offer you a choice of one of the two Thomas Kincaid authorized reproduction paintings featured as a gift to you for your donation. 
Your generous support will allow Uplift TV to create and acquire more inspirational movies and programs that will change hearts and impact lives. Remember Me tells the story of a thief hanging on a cross at Calvary who asked Jesus, Remember me when you come into your kingdom. Eternal Springtime was the last painting of Thomas Kincaid, found on his easel after he passed away. It features Thomas's Bible on the park bench to serve as a reminder to read the Word of God. Each painting comes in four different formats and donation amounts. The studio print is 8 by 10 inches, printed on heavyweight archival paper that will easily accommodate a store-bought frame. You will receive this quality studio print for your donation of $25. The gallery wrap print is crafted with premium canvas and hand wrapped around a hardwood stretcher bar. It is available for your donation of $125. The textured print features a hand applied coating designed to bring out appearance of brush strokes. A very attractive frame comes with this painting. You will receive this authorized reproduction for your donation of $200. The limited edition reproduction comes with a certificate of authenticity. This beautiful version features vibrant colors, rich textures, and is highlighted by hand using fine acrylic paints by skilled artisans. This elegant framed limited edition reproduction is your gift for a donation of $1,000. For your convenience, you can donate online at upliftpaintings.com. This secure website is the easiest way to view the two painting choices and review the four painting formats. You can also call our toll-free number and make your donation by calling 844-7-UPLIFT. That's 844-787-5438. Donate today at upliftpaintings.com or call 844-7-UPLIFT. Welcome back. Just as Jesus taught with parables and stories, Uplift TV gives you Christian movies and ministries that are really modern day parables. And to help us do this, we have partnered with the Thomas Kincaid Company with a very unique opportunity for viewers. And today we have Pat Kincaid. He's the brother of the late Thomas Kincaid. And we were just talking about this picture before mm -hmm. break, Pat, and it's a little bit different from some of what you may have seen from your Absolutely. brother's previous works. My brother painted in a variety of different styles. He really was a master artist um, at, at his prime. Uh, his studio work is what people m most know, things that are very, very meticulous and highly executed with a lot of uh, small detail to relish. This is a more uh, a broad stroke approach to art. Now, Tom painted in that manner. In his plain air work, the open air work that he did it, on site in a flurry of inspiration, very, very broad stroke, very, very different from what you'd expect in the studio. But he also painted in an impressionistic style, which is very different than what his studio work is about. It's a broad stroke uh, patterning and composition that he actually used a, a, a brush name to present to the uh, public at first. He painted under the uh, name Gerard mm -hmm. for many, many years in terms of his Im impressionistic works. What's exciting about all of that and all of that exploration and art over the many, many years of my brother's life, he actually left a repository of all the work that he collected from a very early age. As a child, he was a pack rat to his very last painting, which this was. Mm -hmm. We have over 30,000 unpublished pieces of art that my brother created that no one's ever seen. Mm -hmm. And how exciting is that as a Kincaid collector, knowing that over the coming years that Tom's legacy in terms of new expression will still continue. The work that we have available in the, the Thomas Kincaid vault will far outlive all of us in terms of its availability to be experienced. And hopefully someday very, very soon we're going to create a museum for that so people can come and experience it directly. But this piece is an expression of his mastery, his ability to paint in a variety of different styles, in a variety of different ways to express ultimately the singular message of his love of God and his wish that everybody could experience that love. From an early age, did you see him painting at an expert level, if you will? He was always very uh, precocious. He really was. He was a prodigious talent. It was funny because we were uh, kids in a very, very small town with not a whole lot of resources. But early on, Tom ran into this old gentleman who bought a horse barn across a pasture, uh, who was a retired art professor from uh, the University of California. And he needed strong arms and strong legs to work around the studio, and Tom was this prodigious talent that needed a mentor. So in God's way, people say, where are the angels? Where are the angels out there? Well, I'll tell you where the angels are. Look around. For Tom, 
a kid that shouldn't have had access to that level of expertise, he suddenly had access to it at the most important moment in terms of his artistic evolution. So it, it was a miraculous uh, experience in terms of his growth, but yes, there always was this general realization in his mind that he was destined to become an artist. And you can have some of this greatness uh, in terms of this artwork. We need your support to help Uplift TV and the Uplift TV Foundation create the kind of programs that change people's lives. For more information on these paintings, visit UpliftTV.com or call the number on your screen. For your support of Uplift TV Foundation, we want to offer you a choice of one of the two Thomas Kincaid authorized reproduction paintings featured as a gift to you for your donation. Your generous support will allow Uplift TV to create and acquire more inspirational movies and programs that will change hearts and impact lives. Remember Me tells the story of a thief hanging on a cross at Calvary who asked Jesus, Remember me when you come into your kingdom. Eternal Springtime was the last painting of Thomas Kincaid, found on his easel after he passed away. It features Thomas's Bible on the park bench to serve as a reminder to read the Word of God. Each painting comes in four different formats and donation amounts. The studio print is 8 by 10 inches, printed on heavyweight archival paper that will easily accommodate a store-bought frame. You will receive this quality studio print for your donation of $25. The gallery wrap print is crafted with premium canvas and hand wrapped around a hardwood stretcher bar. It is available for your donation of $125. The textured print features a hand applied coating designed to bring out appearance of brush strokes. A very attractive frame comes with this painting. You will receive this authorized reproduction for your donation of $200. The limited edition reproduction comes with a certificate of authenticity. This beautiful version features vibrant colors, rich textures, and is highlighted by hand using fine acrylic paints by skilled artisans. This elegant framed limited edition reproduction is your gift for a donation of $1,000. For your convenience, you can donate online at upliftpaintings.com. This secure website is the easiest way to view the two painting choices and review the four painting formats. You can also call our toll-free number and make your donation by calling 844-7-UPLIFT. That's 844-787-5438. Donate today at upliftpaintings.com or call 844-7-UPLIFT. Pat, thank you again for such a very candid look at your brother as well as his beautiful work. Well, and I want to thank you really for sharing this with me and for all the production staff. It's truly been wonderful. But mostly what I want to do is thank all of you out there for sharing the light. Thank you and God bless.